Okay, well. It is upgrade time. I've been sitting here doing these on foot missions one after another. And I've built up quite a few, um, quite a few of the resources that I need to do a few different uh, upgrades. Like, uh, Oh, what did I do here? I finally have night vision. I came across this level two uh, ma Maverick suit with night vision already on it, which is nice. Night vision is the only upgrade I've ever wanted since I started doing this junk, and now I have it. Not only do I have this Maverick suit, but I finally got access to Odin, the engineer that does night vision. He's the only one that does it. Finally got access to him, so I got night vision on this Maverick. And I stuck it on this other... Uh, and I stuck it on this other Dominator suit, which is up to G5 now which is using up a slot on him. I wasn't going to put night vision on him, but since I got it, now I'm going to use it. I guess the other one's going to be, I don't know, extra ammo maybe. Anyway. Here I've taken a mission. This one... This is assassination, and they're making out that it's really, they're making out that it's really difficult. Level five, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's difficult. The level, the level of difficulty they, they assign these things doesn't necessarily mean they're hard. Um, you can also get ones that have lower levels that are just freaking impossible. So I'm hoping I'll get lucky on that. But I am told that, uh, I did get the message that Jacqueline Baird here is aware of my coming, so that's going to make it harder. Anyway, I have to do this mission in order to get four genetic research units, and that will allow me That will allow me to get combat movement speed on this new suit. This is combat movement speed. I am. I, I need three more genetic research to do that. This is my janky. Uh, this is my janky piece of junk uh, thing that I made to um, keep track of which which upgrades I have the the, the of which which upgrades I have the resources for and which ones I don't. This is not what you should do. You should use the uh, you should use the uh, the material helper software, which has been available for like months and months and months, and does more and more than this ever does. But I got interested in this and and, and played around with it. I can also I'm, I've got the stuff to do faster handling, but I'm putting I'm going I'm putting off on that. Other than that, I need to get uh, well. I got to get Maverick. Uh, grade four on this suit, but I'm not too far from that. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit of, I'm a little bit ways off on that one. I got a Manticore Tormentor. I'm trying to get him up to level five, and I'm pretty close on that. As I just need to go farm some manufacturing instructions somewhere. And I just got done putting night vision on the on the other Dominator suit and. Um, and faster shield regen on this suit. So I got, I got, and then I got two or three other upgrades. I'll probably, I'll probably got the stuff to do right away. So I've, I've been doing, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape with upgrades right now. Well, I'm not going to put it off any longer. I got to get out here and make an attempt at this.
I'm gonna go ahead and use my brand new Maverick suit with the night vision. Warning. Dangerously low temperature detected. Although I might want to check the weapon loadout. I'm not sure if I'm carrying a rocket launcher. Okay. I've got the uh, I've got the long distance ray gun, the laser gun, and the Manticore Tormentor there that I've started playing around with. The Manticore Tormentor you can get you can get single shot single shot kills with it, but I don't like it as much. It's not as much fun to use. It's not as accurate. But it's one of those weapons you're supposed to use, you know. And you know, I. I some weapons are just more fun than others, I guess. I don't know, but I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to use it. But yeah, that's probably the loadout. I could put the rocket launcher on here, but I'm not going to fight my way out of this place, I don't think. I'm not I'm not in here to kill everybody. I'm just in here to kill one person and I really don't want to get in any trouble aside from that. And I don't think I'm going to dangerously low temperature detected. I don't think I want to take any e-breaches with me, although I could. I'll go ahead. I'll take one. It's not all that dark out here, really. There's some. There's a little bit of. There's something shining over there, putting some light out here. But there's your night vision. That's what I'm here for. This is the this is the this is the only upgrade I've been wanting this whole time. I've been using it every chance I get. The advice I got when I first started talking about it was, well, what do you need that for? I mean, the bots are going to see you anyway, right? I'm not sure the bots can see you in the dark. I really don't know. I've used this stuff. I've used this night vision in. I've used these night vision in some of these uh, combat zone things, and they were kind of acting like they couldn't see me. Oh, there she is, right there. You see what happens? But she knows I'm here, though. That's the thing. I can't just run up on her. This might be a quick mission. Yeah, it's pretty dark out here. I might want to sneak around the other way. Might be a quick mission unless I can figure out a way to blow it completely. I do not have quieter footsteps on this one, so I probably have to be a little bit sneakier than usual. I've got her on my scope now, so that'll help. She's standing still. I believe she is. There's somebody else over there. I'm trying to be careful because you know this thing is level 5, so it is supposed to be hard. So I don't want to I don't want to screw around and blow it doing something stupid, which is kind of the normal thing I would tend to do. Let me get up here and see if I can dispatch her with a couple of shots, maybe. Is she there? Taking damage! You'll not find! It took a lot more shots to kill her than I thought it would. talking about you know that 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 mission was rated difficulty five you know and I knocked it out in like two minutes <laughs> that happens to me all the time I'll take I'll take a I'll take a mission that's rated difficulty three and then when I get there there's absolutely no way to get in there because there's just guards everywhere 
and you're not allowed to set off alarms, you know? And there's absolutely nobody with any with any level clearance who's like ex who's like exposed to where you can scan them, you know. And there's no doors anywhere that are that are basically you know left unguarded for you to break into. It's this happens all the time, you know. I, that 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 difficulty level that they give you, it's. It's probably roughly, it probably approximates the difficulty, but it's definitely not the be-all and end-all. Yeah, that mission there, I was kind of expecting that they would have, they would have had the target like inside a building, like inside a command building, you know, like in a restricted area <laughs> to where you'd actually have to get a security clearance and, and get past two or three other guards just to get to where they were, you know? That's kind of what I was expecting to happen, but... It's okay though, if the game wants to take it easy on me, that's fine, because... Because, you know, you can say what you want about the deathmatch on this game. Yeah, you know, it's pretty basic, the deathmatch, and the bots are really not too great at deathmatch, but... The stealth missions are really are really what it's about. That's 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 those are those, some of those can be very challenging. Well, the main thing is you just have to have a lot of patience. You know, the main thing with the stealth missions is you just have to take your time. Sometimes, you, if you if you try to rush it, you're not going to get it. You know? I mean, if uh, even even if even if you're allowed, to, even if even if you're even if you're, even if it's not the kind of mission where you fail if you set off the alarms, it's often a good idea to turn off the alarms anyway. Because, like, if you have to upload something at a data point, you got to hang around that data point while all the guards come storming in trying to shoot you. And if the alarms aren't off, you're you're gonna have the whole base on top of you by the time that by the time you get finished uploading that stuff, and they're just gonna kill you. That happened to me the other day. You know, I was, I was in here, all I had to do was upload this virus to a data point, you know. And I was and I was roaming around, taking forever, trying to get a security clearance. And finally, uh, uh, got a little, got like level two, and suddenly found, oh yeah, I'm right next to the port. Orbital flight engaged. You know? Like, well, I could take another 20 minutes and get over there and turn the alarms off, or I could just, or I could just upload the virus and get out of here. And I decided, no, I don't need to turn the alarm. I'm just gonna upload the virus and get out of here. Well, I uploaded the virus, and yeah. Next thing, I, next thing I know, there's like three or four guards storming in every, every, storming into every doorway. Now I'm sitting here in this, in this, in this level three uh, Maverick suit. My little manticore tormentor pistol which is pretty effective you can get one or two shot kills with it quite often but that and a little laser rifle is not the best possible combination for dealing with like uh, crowds of armed guards with shields no not necessarily the rocket launcher might have been better I didn't want to be stealthy anyway.
Okay, well that's it for me. I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna spend I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time in here and, and just steal everything. Oh yeah, I'm very happy, man. Night vision. Oh, night vision. I love night vision. Leaving pressurized environment. I don't know if it's a, I don't know I don't know how you would rate it as being worthy of taking up one of your precious four precious four upgrade slots but oh man I love it Best thing ever completely useless if the sun is up of course which is a consideration but that's the way it works All right thanks for having a good evening